Good morning! Welcome back to another vlog. Oh, my little bunnies. I literally love coming outside of my house and just seeing all my little bunnies in my garden. Anyways, um, I'm back home, as you can tell, from Dubai after having the most incredible trip of my entire lifetime. And now I'm just trying to get my life in order, get my life together. Libby slept over last night. I don't know where she is right now. The next couple of days is going to be really weird because it's going to be my last night at home. I've got like an overnight bag, which is going to be so strange because I'm actually staying at my auntie's house and babysitting my cousins, not even just my cousins. Their little dog. No, their little dog is the cutest thing. Like, I'm gonna have a dog for a week, and I don't think anyone understands quite how excited I am. Like, she is literally the fluffiest little tiniest thing, and oh my gosh, she's just so so adorable. Um, although she's actually really unwell and she does pass out a lot, and I do think that's gonna scare me. Little cookie, did you know that? She passes out, but she's really really unwell. Like, she's got like a problem with her heart, so like, I have to give her her tablet stuff every day. For me, it has to get that right. I can't mess up. I know. I feel a lot of pressure. I feel like I'm literally going to have a baby. I know, a little tiny cookie. But um, yeah, so me and Libby, we're going for a workout this morning. We're going to meet Imogen. Wins. Imogen's doing a workout somewhere separate. Libby's giving, I'm just Ken. Anywhere else be <laughs> By the way, she's doing an acting scene where she's where she's slagging me off. No, look. Look, 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 look. We were doing this all last night with the biggest kids. We were fully doing movie scenes. Hey, hey. I was just telling everyone how you're slagging me off in your acting hey, scene. Hey, Jenna. You okay? <laughs> when I was telling you last night. Queen. I think we were because I say that in my vocabulary now. Yeah. Vocabulary? Well, yeah, you do. You say 24-7. But last night, <laughs> Libby was helping me with my accent practice. Next minute, we're doing full Oscar winning movie scenes and it was so funny. It was so good. And I said to Libby, like, I wonder if our parents still do stuff like this. Cause I even think in 20 years time, we're still gonna be making little movie scenes. We're also nearly 25 next year. So like, we probably when we were 16, no, we would have been like, oh, will we be doing this when we're 25? Yes, yeah. we're gonna be doing it when we're 55. Yeah. So, we met a little friend. <laughs> and we've come to Nando's for some lunch. We was going to go get breakfast, but it's more lunchtime. We walked past Nando's. We made a very quick decision to change our mind, didn't we? Which I'm so, so happy about. Wait. I ordered before both of you, and you both got your food before me. Wow, look at that. It's because we're just queens. It's because what? We're just queens. What about me? That's not very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, this is what food's saying. Oh, well, to be fair, I've got my sweet potato, so it's fine. Good morning, everyone. God, my hair is so greasy. Today, I'm absolutely going to do a hair treatment and wash my hair. I haven't washed my hair in the longest time. I didn't really end up vlogging much yesterday, and I do apologize. I ended up having one of the worst evenings. I'm gonna say of my life so far. It was, it was to be honest, this week has just been hell. Week, like the week's just been like, yeah. like literally hell for me. It's not been um, fair. It's been up. It's been down. It's people's. Uh, yeah, I'm not even trust. gonna get into. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm not even gonna get into it. But someone really close to me has really, really hurt my trust, and I tried to forgive them when they clearly don't deserve any sort of forgiveness. So yeah, that's that. Anyways, I have a really exciting, well, really exciting day today, but I'm gonna have a good day today. I'm gonna pick myself back up. I'm actually going to babysit my cousins today and they have a little dog called Cookie, but I think I actually said this yesterday and I'm really excited for that. And Jed's also coming with me to help babysit them. We're babysitting them for six nights. So I'm literally just packing my suitcase now. I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna go look after the kids, which should be really nice. I don't really get to spend enough time with my cousins. and. My grandparents actually live next door, so it means I'll get to see my grandparents like a bit more and stuff as well. Um, and I know they're gonna be so excited about that, so I can't wait for that. So yeah, I'm just packing my suitcase now. Imogen's gonna go home. She wasn't meant to stay over last night, but then ended up staying because she's just obviously the cutest Aww. little angel. But yeah, that is today's plan. And then basically gonna be parents. Jed's excited to cook, isn't he? He's so cook excited. for the kids, which I hate <laughs> cooking. Like I apps everyone knows this. I hate cooking with a passion. So I'm excited that Jed's gonna be doing the cooking. I'm gonna be doing the school runs. It's I literally feel like we're gonna be parents. <laughs> the fact that like the dog has to have tablets at certain times, I'm like, this is quite a lot for little old me. Like I know I live by myself, but I literally only have myself to take care of. And I don't always take Let care of myself. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, literally. So it's gonna be it's gonna be an experience, but it's my cousin, so it's fine. Like, they're literally the best. But yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna go look after them now. Let's go. Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Cookie! Oh my god, so cute. Is she gonna Oh, yeah, she is gonna come. Hi! Are you just the cutest? Oh my goodness, I actually am so obsessed. We need to take her out for a walk, don't we? She's so cute, I can't even deal. So I've just arrived at my auntie's house. My cousins Ivy and Archie are here. 
Ivy's gone somewhere. Archie's there. And Jed's also here and he is chefing up in the kitchen. What are you making, Jed? I'm not really chefing up. <laughs> what you are? This to me is chefing up because I don't really cook. What are, you, what are you making? I am making chicken burger. Chicken burger? Is this at your request, Arch? Yeah. It was, Archie was going down Jed's TikTok to sign him what he wanted Jed to cook for him. So yeah, I'm so glad that Jed's here because I honestly don't know what I'd be cooking for anyone. Actually, imagine, imagine them going stuck and you make me some lunch. What would I actually make them? Chicken, chicken fajitas. Lunch. Chicken fajitas, or genuinely all that I make is chicken fajitas. Or I just use my Hello sandwich. Fresh. Huh? Or you could make a cheese and ham sandwich. Che yeah, I could make a cheese and ham sandwich. I could make beans on toast. No, do you know what I'd do? I'd be ordering Nando's. That's exactly what I'd be doing. But yeah, it's so funny because they have a darts board here and Jed and I were playing darts. And and I'm really good. Am I really good? No, you're not really good. No, I am. I'm actually really, if I say so myself, Jed, you need to give me the confidence today. I need it. I'm really, really quite good. Jed was shocked and Archie was shocked. Yeah. Like I was actually half decent. So we'll be playing darts every morning. That'd be fun. Right, so Jed and I were playing darts. I cannot believe, actually, I was very proud of myself. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna aim for. I'm gonna get a triple 20 and I guarantee you I will get a triple 20. And I'm not gonna edit this. Right, Archie? Yeah. Triple 20. Okay. In one of these. Because that is not like the best number, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, I'm all fresh up. Oh god, now Ivy's coming in. Okay. Quite quite far. No, wait for it. Last one. You're close, you're close, you're close. <gasps> I was so close. I actually am half decent, I think. Okay, well, that was shocking. I'm not really backing myself up here. I'm stressed. I'm feeling the pressure. Now the camera's on. You know, you're just so good and precious. Oh my goodness, look at her. Look at her. It's not fair that she's poorly. It's actually not fair. Like, life is not fair. Well, you don't deserve to be poorly and have a bad heart. Oh you're my so goodness. Right, um, my nan was just like sorting out her bags and she just come across this picture of Casey. How cute does he look? And here she is, the woman of the hour, the most important woman of all in a beautiful heart jumper, glamorous as ever. They go and look how cool she is, Jim, with that air pod in her ear. <laughs> Are you just doing business meetings, Nan? <laughs> I've made that. My granddad's time. just showing Jed his favourite cookbook because they're that talking about looks cooking. That's really nice. Granddad, show me the front of the book, quick. Hey. Can you show the front of the book? Oh, You say you got it from the milkman? That's yeah, so the milk, cute. Well, the, 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 it's a dairy book. It came by the milkman. We used to have milk delivered in the don't you wish we still got that now? Like, I wish yeah. more than anything, like, yeah, we just the got the milk delivered to us. That'd be so cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at them. Oh, it's so cute, Welsh, man. Welsh oh, Welsh cakes, yeah. All sorts of things. He's so cute, Jed, yeah. isn't he? My girl <laughs> So, Jed and I are doing a dark competition. 19. Whoever wins gets the best room in the house. And I'm winning, again. 19, yeah. Yeah. Ready? 19. My hands feel a bit like... Nine. Twenty-seven. That wasn't a great one. Twenty-seven. It's my bracelet. <laughs> oh. That was good. Oh my god. I really don't like these purple oh, darts. They're really like... Switch, I yeah. like purple darts. I don't like the purple ones. Can we actually switch? I'm going to have one right now. These feel so much nice already. Oh, see, I went for 18, these ones. 31, 36. Okay. Five, Maybe it's the purple. 11. <laughs> this is it. This is it. I feel it. I don't. Nope. <laughs> Just let everyone know I did win. I don't know how because I was winning the whole time. And admit it, Jed, don't so, even so lie. You're winning. Come on, we but don't the reason run live you can't right check here. out is because you don't know how to aim, so you got lucky to get down. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Good morning. So I'm obviously back at my house right now, feeling so much more positive today. I just thought, I honestly don't even know why I'm wasting my energy on being sad. I know it's gonna come in wavelengths because when someone hurts you, it obviously hurts a lot, especially somebody that you trusted. But yeah, I'm just feeling so much better today. Feeling very, very positive. I had some really good, like really, really exciting news. Yeah, which I'm so excited about. I hate being that person, but I literally can't tell you right now. But also I just wanna say like, thank you so much. Just to everyone on my Instagram, well, and all of my platforms, 
platforms that just genuinely has shown me so much love. I can't even tell you how thankful I am. Like really, really, I mean it. And I just, I just love like girls. I just think the girl community is just so, so nice. Like the amount of girls that have messaged, I mean, obviously I'm guys too, but the amount of like girls that have messaged me and like, if it wasn't for some girl girls, I wouldn't know a lot of things and I'm just so grateful. Also did a podcast episode this morning, hence one of the reasons I came back to my house and it was all about like girl friendships and stuff and it was just, it was just so nice, definitely go and listen. By the way, I'm not sure if you can see on here, but my treatment that I'm using for my skin, it's made my skin so dry. This happened before, I knew it was gonna happen again and it's really frustrating when I'm putting on makeup. I'm filming on my iPhone, which hopefully you can see like a lot better how not perfect my skin is. Uh, it's just so dry around my nose and stuff. And it's super, super hard to just like cover it because it's just so dry. So I'm just keep moisturizing my skin. I've got the Abaji moisturizer that's covered in makeup because my makeup bag is a literal mess. Yeah, feeling, feeling a lot better. I know it's going to come in different wavelengths but feeling really really good i'm gonna go and take archie now my little cousin who obviously i'm babysitting to the gym with me he's gonna come and do a workout with me because i wanted to go to the gym and he asked if he could come so of course he can come and I'm gonna teach him a thing or two in the gym and yeah not too sure what the rest of the day i have which i have planned but yeah just feeling really good really really excited for the future now I've ever seen. We were going through the drive-thru and some girls noticed me and started screaming, but didn't it make me absolutely have a fright of my life? Yeah. I don't like going around the driveway in this either. Do I want a McDonald's or not? Arch? I think yeah. I just want to have. You said you want the chicken nuggets. I know, just but I don't know. If not, I'll read them. Okay. Right. You've got what they want, yeah? They text you. Uh, can I get a wrap of the day? Um, what 20 do you want? chicken nuggets with chips, please. Can I get 20 chicken nuggets and fries as well, please? With right. And also, I'm going to do the meeting at Nanny and Granddad's because it's right. the Wi Fi. So, we fixed it. Oh, then, I can do the other one in the office. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't think about that. Okay, yeah, I'll do my meeting then. Yeah, I'm going to test that it works. If it doesn't work, I'm going to be in so much trouble. I can't believe Ivy's got a milkshake. I'm actually so jealous. Haven't had one in forever. Oh, look, it's Monopoly. Oh, they got it back. Yeah, I didn't know they had it. Another chance to win. Do you want it? You have to enter it via the app. What does that say? Same. Oh, same thing. Let's open all okay, of them. Okay, do you want to do, do the codes then? Yeah, I don't think Jed and uh, Ivy are going to be happy if we take theirs. No, it's fine though. You've got a food coming. There we go. Oh my God, it smells so good. You're welcome to eat in the car if you want to. I'm going to get my nuggets out. Good afternoon, everyone. Good evening, actually. I don't really think I've vlogged much today. I have, like, literally the last two days. I think I've had, well, I've had eight meetings today, and I had seven yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I've just been so insanely busy, which I feel like is actually a really, really great thing. And I honestly, I think, oh, well, I said that earlier that I had a really good meeting, but I just had another really good meeting. I want to give you an update. So, some really, really exciting news. I think I've spoken about this a couple of times, but I really, really want to try something new with my career and I've been working on it for a very, very long time and I'm just so, so excited for what's to come. I feel like I really need this positive news and it's really great and I'm actually trying to get, and I should be getting, fingers crossed, so I'll update you when I've obviously officially got it, but my goal is I should be getting a three-year visa to the US, which I literally, oh my God, I cannot wait for. Like, I'm going to be so excited because I'm actually going to be able to work on my acting, which is exactly what I want to do. Yeah, there's just some really, really exciting stuff coming coming and I'm just feeling really really grateful like so grateful sometimes we forget that like a clock is ticking there's literally no point I know obviously you have to feel your feelings completely but there's no point in like feeling I don't want to waste my energy on feeling sad and so I'm really just like focusing on the positive things and I'm so lucky because I have so many amazing things about to happen and I actually can't believe that it's real life I genuinely can't believe this like the last two days I've been getting some of the best news having the best meetings and I am genuinely so so excited. So literally, I oh, just can't wait for you guys to just to see this and come on this journey with me. And yeah, just manifesting a, an amazing future. So yeah, that's something I'm really, really excited for. The kids, you can hear them, they're very loud. They're actually cooking with Jed. In fact, they're baking with Jed. I'm gonna go have a look at what they're doing. You still baking or are you boxing? Boxing. Boxing and baking, you're teaching Ivy. What are you baking? 
That same cake I made for mum, the one everyone loved. The cookie. Yeah. It's not a cake. I don't know why you keep yeah, saying it. It is, it is. It's not it's a cake. A, a cake is a cake. Like, it's, it's not the a cake. It's the size sponge. of a cake. Jed's doing all of the chocolate chips. Although, guys. Went to five I, shops to get these for you, Jed. I asked for a light brown sugar. What do they come from? Oh with? my god. You opposite. went to five shops. Literally, chill sugar. out. Is that what you tell him, Archie? Chill out. <laughs> Anyways, Jed's making us a giant cookie. Jed's been doing all the cooking since we've been here, which has been absolutely Gosh, lovely. Yeah, cooking with Jed. Jed, you better do it, Bjorn. Jed, look this? happy then. Hmm? Smile. <laughs> 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 Guys, oh my god, literally as I was filming, look what's just come through. By the way, doesn't mean I've got it. When I've got a visa, when, because we're manifesting, fingers, fingers crossed, because I know that it's a very, very long system, but when I get it, I of course will let you guys know. Um, but yeah, I haven't actually got it come through just yet. No, guys, look. Hi! Say hi! <laughs> Say hi! <gasps> Oh my goodness, a little sweat. Honestly, the only baby that makes me want a baby. I love you. Right, let's see it then. Let's see this apparent cake, even though it's a giant oh cookie. God, I know it's not a proper cake. You keep calling it a cake to everyone. Oh my God, it's so gooey. Yeah, well that's what you guys oh said you like it like. No, that, we just said we like it like that. I said it's still really gooey. Yeah, and we said I like it. Like yeah, it. I like it like that. Oh my God, it's going to be so much better like that. Can we just rip it? Why didn't you do a TikTok of this? That looks unreal. But can we just... Can you just show the gooeyness? I don't think it's as nice as last time. Just oh no, is it not? I think you're just quite... Um... No, 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 it's not as nice as last time. Yeah, but you are really self-critical when it comes yeah, to cooking. Exactly. I don't know why, no one's stuff. playing for you to be a chef. Like, nah, yeah, I don't know why you're like that. Oh, we've actually Maybe got slices. Imogen doesn't like his food. <laughs> 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 You've been exposed. Taste test. Just told you I'll say it's amazing no matter what. <laughs> We should have had some cream with it. Ooh, cream with the cookie. Oh, that's really good with the cookie. I told you, it's not near as nice. It's quite cakey. It's cause it's complete wrong sugar. It can't be because of the sugar. The one you did before was so much nicer. Was a lot nicer. It's still good, but it doesn't like the one before. Genuinely tastes like cookie dough. Like mm. I've never tried. Mm. I told you. It tastes like sticky toffee pudding. That is actually what it tastes like. That is my fault because I've got the wrong sugar. It tastes like sticky toffee pudding. Like I can't taste the Nutella. Mm, sure got. Cookie, come on, show everyone how, right, she wees on I two legs. She does a handstand. This morning just to get to wee. She didn't Did wee she? for me, no. Oh, no way. Come on then, friend. Come on then. You wee, don't you? So I have a chapter in the book. So that's what I'm doing right now. Yep, I can hear you. Um, for breakfast, I had some scrambled eggs on toast. Not very exciting, but my favorite breakfast, so. <laughs> oh God, I don't know why I'm like nervous. To do. I think I talk too fast. So I'm a little bit nervous about this, but it'll be fine. <laughs> The best meeting. <laughs> I haven't told him to film me. Sorry, I uh, threw it all in my mouth. We just had literally the best meeting ever. However, we've got a lot on our plate. Like we actually have. Yeah. Like this venture that we're doing together, genuinely words couldn't even describe to you how much I underestimated it. Like there is so much behind the scenes, like the tech stuff, the numbers. It's just the little things that you don't even like think about that like when you're like online, like even purchasing things that like, you just don't think about it. No, like, you, you just don't. think that someone like Magically designed something fairy. and it's just done. <laughs> and it's done and you give it to a team. Like we know it's that it's not, not like that. that. Do you know what I mean? Like we're not done, but it's... it's uh -huh. Like genuinely, it's a lot. Like the numbers, the Excel spreadsheet. Yeah. It's just. I'm it's currently a lot. learning to reprogram my Excel. I mean, I know Excel is not a, <laughs> like it's not a computer like coding computing thing. Like it's not hard. But I'm just having to like relearn the basics from like literally school. Anyways, it's good though. It's good. It's just a little bit scary because I feel like we've got me and Imogen this year have just decided we want to do so many new things because you know why not? Like we literally why not? Once. But equally, we've heard about seventy different things onto our plate and gone. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, and I. I 
I, I do think I've actually signed myself up for too much, but do you know oh, what? I have actually bitten off my leg at this point. You are amazing though at doing more, more than one thing at once. Stop it. So are you, you are. Though. You can't you are. Don't say that. Haha. -ha. She's done it. She's done it. Woo! Um, anyway, I'm gonna burp. Slay. Lovely. Anyways, I am gonna leave Imogen to do some more numbers. I would sit here and do it with her, but I've actually got to get back for the kids. I also need to take back some parcels. So I've got to go into Central and quickly do that because I've actually gone over the return date. So I've basically got to beg the shop to let me return it and it's a Louis Vuitton return. So I'm absolutely praying that they let me take it back. Surely they'll give me a gift receipt, like if worse comes to worse. Like it depends yeah. who I get, isn't it? I'm gonna try and, I'm, I'm gonna do like the eyes and try and get someone that just looks really lovely that would like, surely they're not gonna let me walk away with something that's thousands of pounds and not let me return it or get an exchange. Yeah. So please, 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 please. So I've got to go do that. I've got another meeting later. Honestly, I was saying to Imogen, I've actually had 14 meetings in the last yeah, few days. It's actually a bit, it's a bit crazy. It's actually crazy. I've signed myself up to so much, which I'm so excited for, but I'm trying to juggle all of it at once. And then I've got to be there for the lifts. Also as well, I've got to take my cousins like to their netball and to their cricket and stuff, which is fine. I have no charge in my car because normally I charge my car overnight in my house, but they don't have an obviously an electric charger. So I don't know actually how I'm going to do that. We have a literally 20 miles in my car. Yeah, I'm girly. That's not good. Really this good. is when an electric car is not good. Like it was, it's not stressful when I have it at mine, so I just charge yeah. it every night. But actually, is it 20 miles? I'm totally a little bit stressed. Yeah. 20 miles should get you though from your auntie's house to yours. Yeah, but then I've got to take them both to practice. I don't know how I'm gonna. Do, I don't know. I'm gonna have to try and find a supercharger somewhere. I don't know where I'm gonna find that. Mm. Anyways, anyways, that's that. And had a really good meeting. And guess what? We're going to LA, baby. We're going to LA, baby. Next week. We're next week, so we're going excited. to LA. Yeah. And we were literally just saying, like, we're so excited because we're just going to live the LA lifestyle. Like, I'm going to go to my acting classes. Imogen's going to be going to dance classes. I'm just genuinely so excited. I've spoken about this so many times, but the first few times I went to LA, I just really didn't like it for so many reasons. But now I've met, like, so many amazing friends out there. I feel like LA becomes good when you get to know more like where, like, the locals go, if that makes sense. That's, like, when LA like starts to be good. The tourist side of LA I don't think is enjoyable at all. I mean, it's cool like when you first go, but after a while it's a bit like, I don't know, I didn't really know how to explain it, but yeah, I just like the like LA life, so it is really fun. So yeah, very, very excited, literally buzzing. Although we still haven't booked a place. We've got the flights, oh, yeah, that's what we need but to we do. haven't booked a place. So we've literally like, do that. that's so cool. Cause I feel like, like we've, what's it called? I saw, obviously saw you Saturday. It's only been three days, four days since. Oh, yeah. I've just, I've just, I've just dribbled. I missed my mouth, that's good. But yeah, I feel like as soon as you got in the door, we've literally just been like talking about everything and anything. It's just like, so well, many been working. I am now we've an Excel spreadsheet we've been pro. Working. On the train back, I'll try, and, I'll try and find a place. We need to work out budgets for LA. Yeah. So everyone, I have been going through some of my drawers. So basically when I went to London today, I picked up some products for my little cousin because she's obsessed with skincare and so I wanted to treat her but also I have a, just a lot of skincare so a couple of bits I bought and a couple of bits I had in my cupboard that I absolutely love so she's only 12 which I find crazy and she's obsessed with drunk elephant which I'm like how did she even know that at the age of 12 and it's like her dream to own it I think just because of like seeing on TikTok and stuff and she was talking about glow recipe and so I've got her these products from Glow Recipe and she also loves sunscreen. She's basically just obsessed with skincare. My auntie had acne and she got me onto a Vargy, which is the treatment that I'm using. And obviously that's her mum. So I think that must be the reason why she's obsessed with skincare. But it literally means absolutely everything to her. So I'm going to surprise her when I go back to the house with some products. I think she's going to honestly be so, so excited. Um, and some other products that I love. Like I love the K Ali perfumes. They're so nice. Um, and then I just got her some like little bits and bobs i mean it's a lot for a little girl but she honestly deserves it she has actually the biggest heart ever this by the way is incredible it is so good i really really want to see if i've got another um fenty gloss because i really want to give that to her as well i'm going to try and see if i've got one but yeah i've just been packing up some stuff i'm going to put in i wish i had a nice little bag to give it to her too as well but i don't which is annoying but yeah i know she's going to be so excited okay so i thought she could give some bit to her friends as well so i found this fenty face mask that i had it's so so nice on your skin then i also got some kiko face mask and i've also got some other bits here as well i managed to find a fenty gloss and then also i'm going to give her the kylie lip butter this is literally mine and Imogen's favorite thing Imogen's awesome facetime how good is this the lip butter the kylie lip butter oh, it's so good. 
Oh, that is so yummy. Hi. Hi. Hey, um, we are changed for a dance class. Even though we can't dance, but we're gonna give it a go. I'll speak for yourself. She can dance, but I can't. <laughs> no, I'm so joking, I can't. I'm actually terrified. I wanted to film a TikTok, but I was like, I can't because I'm gonna be so embarrassed. I'm gonna be embarrassed. We're really gonna be embarrassed. We're gonna be so embarrassed. But that's fine. It's the taken um, part that counts. It is. I am literally terrified, but it's gonna be fine. So anyway, it's also short. I haven't given you any context. Um, Imogen is running the class, and I am so nervous because everyone's gonna expect me to be good. But and you I can assure good. you, I'm not. No, but I can't do commercial. This is what like people aren't understanding. Is Imogen's like, no, but you're so good. I'm like, no, I can do ballroom dancing. I trained in ballroom dancing. I did not train in commercial. At least you've trained at all. The last <laughs> train I got was when I was nine, Dorothy. Yeah, but you're actually naturally quite good at street and stuff, aren't you? Naturally good at street dancing. <laughs> Yeah, I am. It's very true. That's good. Now, yeah, I, I was good at ballet, I and you was good at popping and locking. My mum used to say when I did ballet shows when we were like eight that you'd be able to hear me before you saw yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To be fair, same. I'm so heavy. That's why I like tap because you can do heavy. Footage. What are you? No, <laughs> Dorf, They're the cute. No, look how cute those shoes are. Guys, You're no, joking. I like oh, I love them. They Thank look you. so cute. Thank you. <laughs> love them, girly. Thanks, girly. Maybe it's also boys, if you couldn't tell. Yeah. She's too Thanks busy singing the new tunes that's about to come out, baby. Stream, baby. For the big bro. battery is gonna die I need to go get a new battery and I can't bother to leave the sofa but I probably should get up I bet for dust and I was gonna um tidy my house I literally can't be asked but at the same time I don't want to go to bed with a messy house like that genuinely bugs me so much but it also is 10 p.m and I've got park run in the morning so I feel like I probably should just go to bed I don't even know how long this vlog is I feel like and normally when I say I'm gonna vlog a week I probably end up vlogging like four days this actually is the fifth day of me vlogging now but dance was amazing I know this camera's gonna die honestly Imogen was incredible Romy and Nicole who also taught the class was just amazing and do you know what was so nice I haven't danced in so long so I was so nervous and everyone was just there for a good time I knew that was gonna happen and I did it anyway. I knew that my camera was gonna die and I still tried to carry on vlogging as if it wasn't gonna die. Anyways, I need to, oh, God, I need a wee is what I need. Yeah, um, I was so nervous. So I basically, they split the, um, the dance class into like four different groups and everyone had to go up in their separate groups a lot. And the first time I genuinely, I refuse to do it, I'm not gonna lie. I felt so embarrassed, even though like, I don't even know what, because the thing is, I'm not a bad dancer if I say so myself, but at the same time, I'm not a dancer. And I think just like, I always feel, I think because like people were filming and stuff, I felt so much pressure. Then the, in the end, I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna go up and did it. And so I did go up and I danced in front of everyone. I feel really proud and no one actually cares. Like this is what I'm learning in life. is like, no one really cares about anyone aside from themselves. To be honest, like I used to get such bad, sorry, I'm trying to pick up a thousand things. Good camera skills there, stuff. When I used to go to the gym, have I locked my front door? Yeah. When I used to go to the gym, well, actually I still do go to the gym. When I'd go to the gym, I used to, this is what I'm trying to say, get such bad like gym anxiety. And to be honest, I still get it if I haven't been in a while. Cause I'm like, ah, oh, like I'm, I don't know. I think I'm somebody, sorry, I'm out in the pitch black going through my hallway. What I was saying is, this literally sums me up, by the way. If you have a conversation with me in person, it's a bit like this. I lose track and then I think of something else to say and then I forget what I'm gonna say. <laughs> what I was saying was stuff from bloody hell, spit it out, Jesus. Basically, when I'd go to the gym, or if I haven't been to the gym in a while, <laughs> I will get like gym anxiety. I'm like a really person, a creature of habit. I do the same thing. And I love to do the same thing. Like genuinely, that is what makes me happy. Like when I go on holiday, I get homesick because I haven't got my same morning routine. I eat the same breakfast every day. I do the same thing. Like that is what makes me happy. And so if I haven't been to the gym in a while, I get like really anxious. I overthink it. Then I think everyone's looking at me. No one's looking at me. Everyone's looking at themselves. And I think that's what you learn over time. And I think that's 
that's what I really need to channel more of. Like even with the dance class, like why did I care? Because to be honest, nobody is gonna be like, oh, she forgot the steps or oh, she's not as good as I thought she was gonna be. And if they are like that, then that's like honestly all for them because I would never ever judge someone and think, oh, they're not very good or oh, they forgot the, they forgot the step. Like if you're really that worried about what somebody else is doing, and like those thoughts go to your head, then you probably do need to get a bit more of a life. I just want everyone to succeed. I want everyone to do well in life. And at this dance class today, it was just so nice. Like I spoke to so many of you girls at the end who were all just saying, and I was saying like, I was really nervous, blah, 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 because a lot of the girls are dancers. And honestly, so many people were like, it's all about just having a good time. And we're all girls, we're all here together. Like it's all just, who actually cares? Like just have a good time. That's what's most important. And it was just so, so lovely, honestly. So yeah, it was really fun. Thank you, Imogen, for putting it on. So Imogen, basically um, got a page called The Girl Who's Love To and she runs events all of the time now like coffee meetups and workout classes and stuff like that so definitely go and follow it I am going to go to bed now it's so nice I'm not going to lie being home I'm going in my own bed tonight I actually cannot wait and next week guys I'm going to LA I actually can't believe I'm going to LA next week and it's going to be the start of something very, very exciting. I want to talk to you more about it. However, I spoke to an American accent then. However, it's sometimes I feel like success, work hard in silence and let success be the noise. And I'm not very good at doing that. I'm very much an overchairer. I literally love all of you that follow me, like more than words could ever describe. I love meeting you guys. It's genuinely just so nice. I feel like I have so much support and for that I'm so grateful for. I always wanna share things, but at the same time, I know that everyone has, you know, everyone's gonna say something all the time. And sometimes I feel like I should just, just be quiet and let success be the noise. And so I kind of wanna do that in this situation, but I kind of just wanna to talk to you guys about it and get excited. And things like that I'm kind of getting to a point in my life where like I've realized not everyone's gonna like me and there's a lot of people that don't like me maybe for the first time in my life like I'm genuinely okay with that I feel like I've been through a lot recently and everyone has a lot to say in their own opinions I just think no one actually knows me aside from my friends and my family and what they think of me is the most important thing because they know me personally of course I would love everyone to like me that goes without saying everyone would love that but I think I've just got to a point in my life where I've realized there's going to be certain people that choose not to like me just because they don't want to like me as well. And I don't literally just mean me, by the way. I mean, like this this goes for all of us. Like this literally goes for everyone that's watching right now. I think I've just learned, I don't know, to just almost be okay with it now. I feel like I'm just fine with people not liking me. So then it also just makes me think, well, let me talk about it. But then I don't know, I'm so stuck in, in two ways. But yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'm gonna wash off my makeup and I'm gonna go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you got this far i don't know if anyone got this far if you got this far thank you so much and i shall see you guys shortly